Hey everybody, how are you? Good. I know most of you. Do you guys know me? Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm Mr. Mark. I don't know you. Hey, I have. I'm going to show you the, the chemical cross because Ms. Marcy was saying that you're you're learning about science, and that's great because you know God made science. You know the whole science wouldn't even work without God because God made an ordered universe. He makes gas. Yes, he, he makes all he makes all that stuff, and he makes. You know, the reason why all things work, chemical reactions and things like that, is because God made it that way. But we have some rules here. The first rule is, if you have a question, you got to just shout it out and it doesn't matter. Is that what you do? Yeah. No. No. Put your, Put your hand up. Right. Um, the other rule is, uh, you cannot have any fun at all. Very funny. I don't want to hear any giggling. I don't want to see any smiling, no smirks. Very funny. None of that. We don't want any of that, okay? Very funny. Right. Yes, you can. You are too funny. All right. So let me. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself, and I'm going to do it with an object lesson. And I'm going to ask you some questions. So I want you guys to, you know, help me out. Okay? I know your story. This is regular water. I just drank it. If it weren't regular water, I'd... so I want you to know this is just regular, regular water. I'm going to put water in this jug. What color is the water? Clear. 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 Exactly. And you know, when I was a kid, and actually even when I was even kind of getting grown up, although some people think I haven't really grown up all the way, um, especially my wife, my wife definitely thinks that, but I used to think that my life is pretty good. Look at this. You know, I'm pretty clear. It's like, it's like I'm sin free. I'm, I'm a good person. I mean, does anybody consider themselves like this? I know. You know, people, no? Yeah. See, what happens is, I knew there was stuff in life called sin. And sin is bad. bad. Now, who knows what sin is? Does anybody have a good, like, theology answer? Go ahead, sweet Deborah. Um, sin is something that you do that's very bad, that God is really Yeah, something you do that's bad that God doesn't appreciate? What, what do you think? Um, sin is bad. All right, good enough. How about this for an answer? Sin is just breaking one of God's laws. You know how we have laws in the United States of America? Yeah. And if you break them, who comes to your house? The police. the police. And do they do they give you do they do they reward you or do, no, or do they you. they punish you right? So in the same way, God has laws. What are some of Wait, God's no, What are some of God's laws that He says? Go ahead. Um, You're like my daughter. She puts her hand up without knowing the answer too. She does the exact same thing. You have to Uh, I don't know about that, but go ahead. What's, what's a, do not lie. Do not lie. You know what? When I was a kid, how many, do you guys, have you guys ever lied before? Yeah. You know, I used to lie. Oh. Look how, look how, dark, is it, look how dark this is. It's pretty bad, huh? Yeah, what is it? And so I used to lie, and I'd, I'd lie here and there, and I'd say, yeah, you know, things that aren't true, because I cover my tracks, I don't want people to know some things, and, no, you know, that's funny. not so good. What's another uh, sin that God says not to do? Someone who has an answer. How about you, Zachary? That's blood. Don't murder? Don't murder? Okay. Has anybody here killed anyone? No. No. But do you know Jesus said that if you hate somebody, it's like murdering. Have you ever hated anyone before? Yeah. I have. I used to hate people, maybe the bully that was mean to me, and I, I, I hate here and there, and I, I do that. And how about, uh, what's another thing? Go ahead. Wait, does hamster Yeah, that does, yeah. Oh, my friend's hamster. Oh, that is bad. Yeah, you when you oh. kick and hit somebody, that's wrong. How about making fun of people? I used to make fun of people, and I I dishonor my parents. Anybody ever not do what their parents say? Yeah. You know, and I do all these things, and and you know, and and God says these things are bad, but so actually, yes. Why are you putting blood in the water? I'm not putting blood. I'm putting badness. No, but then no, wait, when I looked, wait a second. Hey, wait a second. I thought sin was really bad. Look how black this is. But then when I look at my life, is that black? No. What color is that? Red. Yeah, it's like orangey yellow. You know, it's not that bad. And you know what happens is you start looking around at other people and you say, you know what? I may tell some lies and I might hate people. I might maybe bully some people once in a while. And I might cheat on some tests once in a while. But I'm looking around and all my friends do the same thing. I'm not that bad. It's, it's no big deal, right? No, I'm, I, well, I mean, what are you really putting here? Well, we'll talk about that later. So, you know, and also, do you know the Bible says that the more you sin, 
your conscience. You know what your conscience is? Conscience is 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 like is like what God gives you to, to know what's right and wrong, but your conscience can get hardened and it doesn't work so much anymore. The more you sin, the easier it is to keep sinning. You you know, it's not so bad. And you look at yourself and you say, Wow, you know what? That's not so bad after all. I thought sin was bad, but you know what? I'll just keep doing it. But then here's what happens is, well, this here's what happened to me, is I started reading the Bible, and the Bible talked about heaven and hell and Jesus and talked about all kinds of things, and I realized, wait a second, you know what? I may not think that my sins are so bad, but God does, and I want to I want to make it up to God. In fact, that's what all people want to do. We want to make it up to God, so I'm going to start doing good, good. good, good works. You know, what are some good works I can do to make up my sin? Go ahead. Uh, Joshua, I haven't heard you yet, I don't think. What's some good works that I could do? What's that? Okay, I'll say sorry to some people that I've sinned against. How about, yeah, you right there. Um, just, um, like if someone's feeling bad, you can like cheer them up. I can try to cheer them up, sure. How about I'll give money to missionaries? Or I'll, how about I'll go to church? And I'll read my Bible, and I'll pray. That'll make it up to God, right? And God will see me as good. I mean, look how good my good and nice and white, right? So I'll start to, to be really good, and I'll, I'll, I'll and maybe I'll... Black. Wait, what's what's going on here? Wait a second. I thought my good is going to make up for my bad. What, what's happening here? It's getting black. But I'll do really good. I'll, 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 I'll listen to my parents, and I'll... I'll I'll walk old ladies across the street even if they don't want to walk across the street. What is going on here? I thought my goodness was gonna was gonna make my sin go away. But what ended up happening? Did it, did it get better or get worse? Yeah. You know what the Bible says? That when you try to to do good to make up for your bad, it make the, the, the Apostle Paul in the book of Romans says it makes sin exceedingly sinful. What that means is the more you try to make up for your sin, the more you realize how sinful you are. In fact, I was always, my heart was always this black. My soul was always this black, but then I started to see it. If you try to, you know, some people say, oh, if you want to get God to forgive you, you need to, you know, uh, pray five times a day towards Mecca. That's something you can do. Or you have to uh, give so much money to a preacher. Or you, you need can to, give money to right. Or you need to go out every Saturday and knock on doors and do that. These are all, you know, maybe good things, but our works can never, can never, ever, ever impress God. In fact, it makes us worse. Anybody know a Bible verse about that? You know, the Bible says, "For by grace you have been saved." Grace is not something you do; it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man will boast. So God will never forgive us based on what we do. In fact, when we try to impress God, it makes us worse. Imagine this. Say I, like, robbed a bank and I stole a billion dollars. And I went in front of the judge and I said, judge, it's okay. I got you. Here's a quarter to make up for it. What would that judge think of me? He would think, like, no, that's not enough. He would say that's not enough. Right. In fact, it, go ahead. What's that? Yeah, I mean, in fact, I'd be insulting the judge even worse because what's a quarter to a million dollars? God's standard is perfection, and when we try to do good, when we try to do good things, it's like we're insulting God and His His His, his holiness. So, but there's great news. The great news is this. Anybody know this? That's right. God did what we couldn't do because our sins make our soul and our heart black and sinful. God himself came to earth, Jesus Christ, and he never sinned once. He never stole. He never lied. He never hated anybody. He never killed anybody. He, killed anybody. he always did what pleased his father. Always. And not only did he avoid the bad sins, he always did the good stuff. Like he always was loving to Isaiah. He was always did the right thing to Julia. He always did what was right. Now, what do you do for somebody who's that good and that kind and that loving? Do you give them a party and take them to Chuck E. Cheese? Yes. You know what we did? You went to Chuck E. Cheese? No. Do I get to come? I don't like So, you know what? I, so, 
We didn't give him a party. We put Jesus Christ on a cross and killed him. And he died, even though he didn't deserve it. He, did he deserve to die on the cross? Who deserved to die on the cross? Me. Us. So it's like going before the judge. We owe a fine to God because what's our heart like? Black. Black. And we need it to be clear. But Jesus paid the fine in his blood. And then he rose from the dead. Wow. Nobody's done that. People have risen from the dead. Who's, who's risen from the dead? Name some, you guys know your Bible. Who's risen from the dead? Jesus. Jesus, definitely. But who else rose from the dead, Josh? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit didn't raise from the dead. No point. Lazarus. Lazarus, sure. Lazarus. There was a there was a little girl who rose from the dead. There was um, Eutychus. He, he was listening to a preaching very long, and he fell out a window and died, and Paul thought to him, he rose from the dead. So there have been people who have risen from the dead. Jesus raised himself from the dead. And that because he's God and he's perfect. And he said that you have to do two things in order to have your sins forgiven. And it's so easy to remember because God is so good. When you see a cross, what letter of the alphabet do you think of? A T. A T. Oh, lost my water. A T. Well, not an X. Well, that'd be like an X. A T. So what's the first num number that begins with a T? Aiden. One. One? No. Does that begin with a T? Two. Ten. Shall we? Two. Two. That's right. So there's two things we need to do. Ms. Marcy talked about them, actually. Um, and they both begin with a T. One is turn. Turn and trust. Turn and trust. Very good. Who could say turn? Turn. turn. And trust. Turn means that Jesus is your boss now. If you turn from your sin and say, Jesus is going to be my boss. And trust means that do I trust in my good works to get me to heaven? What do I trust in? Jesus. Jesus, that he died on the cross. And what did he do three days later? Rose from, Rose from the dead. Jesus said that if you turn and trust, then you will be forgiven. So let's say I really believe that. I believe that Jesus rose, died on the cross and rose from the dead. Now I'm going to get nice and clear. Wait, it didn't work, did it? No, no but I really, really believe it. I've read the stories and I believe it. Is it working? No. What, what, what am I doing wrong? See, do you, what is it? You no, it's, it's this. Check this out. See, you can, there are professors and people in the world that have an intellectual knowledge about Jesus. And they know it in their mind, but it's not inside of them. See, real biblical faith is inside us. Jesus said to those who receive, those are the ones who become children of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. And belief in the Bible is not just believing it, but it means it, it's inside of you. We need Jesus to become Lord of our life. And not just on Sunday, but every day. He's going to be Lord on how we dress, and be Lord on kind of look, what we listen to, the TV shows we watch, the music, everything. He becomes in charge of all of our life. Every single thing. And when Jesus Christ becomes part of every single part of our life, guess what happens to us? The Bible says, though our sin, though our sin is like blackness, it becomes white as snow. So, it's clear. So, let me ask you this. Our sin doesn't always look so bad to us, but it is. And will good works ever cover our sins? No, no. No. What covers our sins? What makes it? Jesus died on the cross. What are the two things we must do? Turn and trust. Turn and trust. Exactly. And I want every single time you see a key for the rest of your life, I want you to remember, wait, turn and trust. Turn and trust. In fact, every time you drive with your parents and you see the telephone poles, you know how they have a T at the top? Do you know that the telephone company wants you to become Christians? That's why they put T's all over the road, all over America. No. Well, that's not why they did it, but they're there. There's T's everywhere, and every time you see a T, turn trust. And if you do, based on the word of God, then you become a new creation, and you will be white as snow, just like this. What do you think of that? You like that? Yeah. You want to know how it's done? Yes. yes. I know how it's done. Yes. I know yes. how it's done. Yes. 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 Right, but why does that work? And we talk about science. God's in charge of science.
So this is just, all this is is a chemical reaction. This is iodine. Iodine looks really black. Iodine looks really black when it's together, but when it's mixed with water, it looks yellow. It doesn't really look that dark. This is starch. This is something that, that you put on your clothes when you want them to look really nice and no wrinkles. Obviously, I didn't use starch today. Is it like, um, kind of like soap or like... You like spray it on your Yeah, well, this isn't spray starch. This is liquid starch. Liquid starch. Liquid starch. So, yeah, you put it in the laundry that makes your clothes nice and, nice and crisp. And... You're right. See this cross? This is it's hollow on the inside, and it has little holes in the back. And I put a chemical in there called sodium thiosulfate. Can you guys say sodium thio thiosulfate? It's a it's a it's kind of like salt. It's a, it's, a, it's a type of salt. You know, there's lots of different salts. It's not no. You don't want to eat it. And I just put some of these crystals inside. My cross, and when I put the cross in, it turns it white. See, it's not magic. There's no magic. It's the chemical uh, reaction. It's just science. But do you know what is magic in a sense? The only like, like, real magic. Hey, let me turn this. I'll get. I'll get to you in a sec. See, if anybody ever comes up to you and says, "Ooh, I'm into magic," and there are magic places even in this town, people that say that they can, you know, talk to the spirits with cards and other things, and that's yeah. that's stuff that God does not like. That's it's fake. Evil. It's evil and it's fake magic. Okay, and it's just, it's just, it, it's nothing that we need to be a part of. But, and this is not magic, this is just a chemical reaction, it's just an illusion. But the real magic that, that we need to deal with, that we deal with, is when Jesus Christ, when you turn and trust, he changes your heart, takes out your old heart that's black with sin, and he gives you a new heart that's white as snow. And not only that, but he promises to forgive every other sin that you ever do for the rest of your life. And, and you get new desires. You become a new person. Now that is powerful. And that's what I want for all of you. So as Ms. I know Ms. Marcy's taught you all this lots of times. But please consider these things. Remember this. We can never make it to God through our good works. Only by turning and trusting. Isaac, do you want to say something? What's the turn part Turn? Turn means you turn from your sin. Sometimes people call it repentance. It means that you make Jesus boss of your life. You say, I don't want to do the, na the nasty things anymore. It means I'm not going to, you know, if I, if I uh, disobey my parents and I go, eh, it's no big deal. Everybody else is doing it. No, I don't think like that anymore. I say, no, it is a big deal. And I'm going to, it's, it's bad and I'm going to confess it. You still might continue to sin, but you won't sin happily again. It won't really bother you because the Holy Spirit will live in you. And convict you of that. Yeah. If you if you were handcuffed, you want me to do it? Mm -hmm. Of course. You can laugh at that joke, but you can't. Remember, I said no laughing. So you guys have been very well behaved. No, 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 no. And, uh, it was a pleasure chatting with you guys today. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you.